Here are some statements you might have heard from someone who creates PPTs regularly. Number one, there is too little time to create this. Number two, the fonts won't align, images jump around and don't even get started me on the bullet points. Number three, why is it so difficult to create a good PPT even if I have good content? Sounds familiar? If you have ever spent hours making slides look just right, you're not alone. Most of the times, it's like assembling IKEA furniture without the instructions and missing half the screws. I have used Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Beautiful.ai, and I can relate to each of these statements and your sentiments. But what if your slides could build themselves without any of the said hassles? Enter Gamma AI. Gamma is your AI-powered presentation sidekick. Just tell it what you want, and it does the heavy lifting for you. For example, I want to create a quarterly business review presentation quickly. I'll simply sign into Gamma AI and answer all the onboarding questions. Once I'm done with that, the Gamma AI dashboard opens up for me. From here, I'll click on Create New. I have three options to create new presentations. Paste in text, generate, and import file or URL. Paste in text can be used when you already have your notes for PPTs prepared and you just have to paste the notes. Generate is the option that you will use to create PPTs from scratch. And finally, import file or URL is used to enhance existing PPTs that you have already created. I'll click on generate since I have to create my PPT from scratch. Then I'll paste my prompt. The prompt goes like, make me a quarterly business review presentation for our SaaS company. Include key metrics like revenue growth, user acquisition, churn rate, notable product updates, and upcoming strategic initiatives. Make it concise, professional, and ready to share with the executive team. Now, before I click on generate outline, I have three more options to explore. The number of cards, the page style, and the language. The number of cards represents the number of slides in your PPT. In the free tier that I'm using, Gamma gives me an option up to 10 slides in for my presentation. Beyond 10 slides, I'll have to subscribe. So I'll let it be eight cards. Now for page style, I have default, traditional, and tall. Since I want to create a normal PowerPoint presentation, I'll let it be default. And for the language, I have almost all the languages that are recognized by the internet. So I'll let it remain English and I'll click on generate outline. And voila, as you can see, it has generated the entire outline with headings for each card. Now, I will take some time and simply go through all of the cards and make the changes accordingly. So I'm done with the editing. I have trimmed the headings, I have added some content in the outline, and I have added arbitrary numbers. Now please keep in mind, these numbers are just imaginary. Do not apply your logic to this. I have done this to show you how it will look in the presentation. Now beyond the outline, I have two more options. One is for the theme and another one for the content. For the theme, I'll let it be piano. I'll change it if I feel like the, des the final design is not up to the mark. And in content, I have the option for the amount of text per ca a card I need, the image source, and the image style. Now, for the amount of text per card, I'll keep it medium so that there is enough text for me to communicate my message to my executives. In the image source, I have multiple options. I have automatic, I have stock images, I have web images, AI images, illustrations, animated GIFs, and image placeholders, and I even have the option to not add any image. I'll choose AI images. And within AI images, I have the option to select the AI model. Within the free tier, 
I have Fluxfast 1.1, Imogen 3 Fast, and Luma Photon Flash. The other models that you see on the screen are in the plus and the premium models, which we are not going to use right now. So let it be Fluxfast 1.1, and I even have the option to add a particular image style that I want. Since I do not have any particular image style in my head, I'll simply skip this and press generate. And it is generating, this will take some time. And you can see the generation process here, I'll fasten it up. And wow, it has generated the eight cards in the presentation. Let's scroll through the presentation once. As you can see, I'm overall satisfied with the first draft of the presentation Gamma AI has generated. Every heading, every content, it is up to the mark and as per the outline that we created. Now, just to show you, on the left-hand side of the screen, you have all the cards visible in one go. You can simply rearrange the cards or even add the cards in between. Let's say if I want to add a new card between the first and the second card, I'll select the first card, add new, and a new second card is added. Since I do not need this, I'll simply delete it. Now, when we look at each card in our presentation, each text block is editable and you can edit it manually or you can select a particular portion, change the font size, font color, uh, make it italics, underline, and other options that you have already seen. Plus, an additional option is edit with AI. You can select this. You have many rephrasing options such as expanding, condensing, engaging, visualizing options, and reformatting, which is pretty amazing. In fact, you can go to top left of each card and select edit card with AI, and it gives you multiple options to change the structure of the card as well as the images. In fact, for images, it has make this more visual, add an image, and replace the existing image. In fact, let me show you an example of how you can replace an image or edit an image. Okay, for example, in slide number three, it says that the top acquisition channel is Facebook ads, and the image displays logos of all the social media channels. So what I'll do is, I'll select the image, go to edit image, and ask it, to simply only have the Facebook logo. Remove all other logos of social media companies. And I'll simply press generate. I'll not change any other thing, such as the style, the theme, or the description of the theme, the aspect ratio, everything remains the same. Now I'll press generate and let's see. Okay, it has generated a new type of image. Let's check it out. And wow, it looks so engaging. But one thing that I note about this is the color scheme is different from the others. Others are a bit black and white or the colors are not that bright. In, whereas this image is using a bright color. So what I'll do is, I'll simply go to the multiple options of images that it has generated and I'll select something that is light. I'll select this one and then check. And as you can see, it has dimmed down the colors and we have the image as per our requirement. You can play around this more to understand the other nuances of this feature. And yeah, I'm pretty much satisfied with the final presentation. Now, just to show you even more features, on the right hand side of the screen, you will have multiple things that will help you enhance the PowerPoint you have created. You can search from the existing uh, content, you can add card templates, you can select the layout, you can even add images from multiple sources or generate with AI within a particular card, you can add videos and images. Also, you can embed web apps. And it's crazy how amazing this tool is. And there you have it. Let's have a look at the presentation 
in the present format. I'll remove my mouse and make it full screen. And this is just amazing. It has even added its own animation and we did it in less than 15 minutes. What an amazing tool for someone with a lot of time crunch, especially if you are a manager or if you get a last minute project at your office or in your academic institution. Wonderful. In just a few clicks, Gamma AI transformed the way I create presentations. Instead of wrestling with formatting, design choices, and endless edits, I simply described what I needed and Gamma's AI did the rest, generating a structured, visually appealing outline in seconds. The best part is it can be used by anyone, even students, to create academic presentations. From making edits, customizing themes, and adding AI-generated images, it can do anything intuitively and fastly, letting me focus on my message rather than the mechanics. With features like real-time collaboration, flexible card layouts, and instant design suggestions, Gamma AI truly streamlines the entire process of making professional presentations accessible to everyone. No design skills needed. Let me know how you plan to use Gamma AI, and do like, share, and subscribe for more such content.